Good morning, guys, gals. Ted from Pewview Farms here. It is Friday morning, October 4th. Let's go look at the calendar. Um, let's see, what is the date today? Yep. Friday morning, October 4th. Uh, yeah, different view. We're here inside the house. Um, got today off. The... 492 hay mine is hooked up to the Kubota M7040 tractor and uh, Overlands Farms 489 hay mine is hooked up to his Workmaster 60 and about 9 o'clock we're shooting right now it's uh, 730 so we got an hour and a half about 9 o'clock we're gonna start knocking hay down uh, we're gonna mow a combined total of six hours together and uh, we are doing baleage this weekend we are going to mow today Get that done here late afternoon. We're gonna get the rake set up so we can catch three rows. Rake it up so it's ready for tomorrow morning and he's gonna start bailing. Like I said, we're doing baleage. The wrapper's here on site. We are all set to go. Weather, no, as you can see, I am wearing a beanie. It is 40 degrees. It's gonna be 40 degrees all day long. It's cold, there's a frost, our first frost advisory is out tonight um, I'm hoping everything goes well everything's been serviced ready to go checked out you know he's done a couple things to his baler sharpened the knives for the cutting the twine uh, threw a couple extra pickup teeth in that were broke or missing so that's done um, we're just hoping everything goes off without a hitch uh, we'll see yeah I'm just here getting my early morning coffee uh, trying to wake up just trying to think what else. Run a couple errands first thing this morning and uh, hop in the Kubota and head down to the Overland Farm. Those are the hay fields that we're taking down today. Get those mowed down. Uh, we've had rain for the last two days on and off. It hasn't been all steady the whole time, but so the moisture is in the ground. The ground's gonna be wet. Might be a couple spots we might have to evade and stay out of that area. Might be a little too wet. We'll see, but I'm going to try getting some footage of both of us out there mowing. Uh, if I had an extra camera guy, that'd be awesome. It'd be a lot easier, but uh, I'll do the best that I can. Um, but that's what's going on this weekend here in Pewview Farms. We are doing our baleage. Uh, normally, we don't do it this late. I think last year we did it in September sometime. But uh, that's just the way the cards fell. So that's the way we're going to do it. We like our baleage for our cows during the winter, and we're hoping to knock enough hay down to probably put away at least 50 bales. That'll work between the two of us, and we'll be able to ration that out in a good manner. So, that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you do, if you like the channel, please like, comment down below. And subscribe if you already have it. And I look forward to talking to you all real soon. <clears throat> all right. There is the M7040 Kubota. And the 492. Nine foot two cut. Haybine. Uh, she is in transport mode right now. Uh, we're sitting here in the lawn. This is kind of the maintenance spot usually where I grease everything. And let her run and spray the bar down with some fluid film. Just to give her good lubrication. Um, she's been cleaned out. Uh, I gotta get grease and a couple of zerks. And I gotta climb up underneath and adjust these shoes. Right. Let's see if we can. Right there. That shoe and that shoe right there 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 is adjustments on those um, they need to be adjusted up we are uh, up higher for basically a first cut I like to cut my first cut up higher <clears throat> I believe the regrowth is better this time of year it doesn't matter because uh, it's gonna go to a dead stage anyways especially with this cold temp that we're getting right now so, adjust those up so we can get a little more yield out of our crop. And 
uh, I think everything else is all set to go. So as you can just probably feel from the wind <clears throat> and my beanie, it's cold out. Uh, very cold. It's 46 degrees right now, and this is going to be the average for the day. May get a little bit colder. I can see the sun's trying to pop out between the clouds here and there. Um, but this is what we're getting today. So, not the greatest day in the world to be mowing hay. But it's not dry hay, it's baleage. As long as we're not tearing up the fields too, too bad, which I don't think we're going to. I'm just very fortunate today that I'm going to be inside this Kubota. We'll be able to run the heat. <laughs> I feel bad for Dan. He'll be on the open station, but uh, he does have a canopy. Um, I'm sure he'll be bundled up, but uh, we'll have our radio. We're going to make the best of it and have fun. So, like I said, Lots of footage. I'm going to try getting both of us out there mowing somehow, one way or another. You guys can just get the gist of uh, two New Holland hay binds doing uh, 18 foot at a time. Uh, it's kind of impressive. We do have, he does have an extra hay bind on hand, but that one's broken down. So, And plus we don't have an extra body to be running another tractor to be mowing. So there's just going to be the two of us. And... Uh, we're going to diligently get after it here pretty soon. Like I said, I just got to run a couple errands, and then I'm going to hop in this tractor, and uh, we're going to go to town. So there it is, guys. That is the setup for the day. That's my office. Okay, guys, gals. We are here down at the Overland Farm. As you can see behind us, uh, that field right there, and the one further, further back is the two fields right here that we are doing. Uh... We got our uh, office for the day. Um, this is the calm before the storm. Yeah, we got some beautiful weather. Look at this. Beanie weather, clouds, no sun yet. But if you look off in that distance over there, we're starting to see some blue clouds. So I'm going to hop in the Overland Farm, knock on the door, wake his ass up. Pardon my language, sorry. Wake him up and uh, steal some coffee, get this thing swung out into mow mode, and uh, she's ready to go. Um, the heat in the cab has not quite got established yet. It looks like he still has to uh, hook up to the, the 489 right there, and I'm looking at it too, and the tongue's down in the ground, so the jack rolled over. So we're going to have to mess around with that. He's going to have to lift it up with a bucket and uh, we'll put the jack back up and uh, get her hooked up. So hopefully within the next hour here, we'll be knocking down some uh, green grass for some baleage. The 492. No, that's the 489. Pardon me. We got her hooked up. We got the jack off the ground and uh, big diesels leading the way. He's going to take that back to the barn quick and uh, do a couple things to it and... Uh, I'm gonna get this swung out and uh, I'm gonna get started, so. All right, guys, gals. We are mowing second crop mailage. Um, it's a slow go. These are not ideal conditions for a hay mine by any means. Um, you know, it's wet grass, we've had rain, High density dues. No. See that? Pick out like that. Maybe not. But you just you gotta stop, lift the head up, and let it unplug itself. I mean, it's not really plugging, it just gets caught up in little wads here or there. It prevents the, the cutter bar from doing uh, cutting in specific areas. So. But this is a, actually, I'm impressed. This is a thicker field. A lot thicker than I expected. Um, we'll have to put our heads together. Like I said, we can end up with like 50 bales. We will be happy. That'll work for us for the year. So between these two fields, we may get this. Uh, Dan from the Overland Farm he just started mowing. Uh, run a couple errands, go get some diesel fuel. But uh, he's on the Workmaster 60 and the uh, 489 hay bind. Right, 
see he's having the same kind of trouble too. I don't know what gear he's in or whatever, whatever he's doing. So I'm finding that a lower gear is definitely a lot better. Seems to be doing all right. You just gotta keep looking behind you and seeing when it's starting to get a little wadded up, stop and lift it up. Uh, but we make do with what equipment we got here. I mean, that's what you gotta do. Okay, you got them big fancy disc finds that can take this hay all day long and make a nice smooth cut. So these hay vines are what's doing the chore. But uh, this could be some nice balance. Just really nice grass hay. So. And this is how we mow. We got uh, 492 back there. And uh, chasing down 489. I see he widened it out a little. See, if we keep these up narrow, they don't, uh, I can catch three rows with the rake. So I'm not really sure why it winds it up. Not to ask. That's going to be hard to catch those three rows by widening that out.
towards the center of this field that it is smaller so we'll see what's going on um, there we go well we got it cleaned off once more again 492 it's gonna be happy that uh, metal uh, roundabout we'll call it whatever was you know got some uh, dirt and a couple stones and stuff in there so we just cleaned them out and uh, We'll see what we got, but uh, we got some pretty green grass. We're gonna make some nice bale just for sure. So hopefully we can get what we need for the year. Finito in these two fields, and I imagine uh, we'll get together and uh, see if we're gonna go mow some more hay if we think we need to, and uh, go from there. But as you can see, he's putting his in the transport mode, as is I. All right, guys, gals, we're up here at the 40 acres that I'm doing, and uh, we are not doing 40 acres. Maybe five acres we're knocking down just to make sure that we got enough hay. But uh, I'm trying to get hold of uh, Dan there. He's up there mowing. And I text him every once in a while, he'll look at his phone. But uh, his uh, jack is dragging. I don't know if the pin came out or I think he had it tied up. It was dragging. Thing and get off the machine and uh, point it out to him. 